Hi, I'm Anish Popat and we're here with guitar today and we're going to be making a caramel crunch nut bark. So I've got some white sugar here and I'm going to place that into our warm pan. And we're going to start to cook the sugar so it starts to caramelize so we get that lovely amber color. So we've got our sugar on a low heat, we don't want to go too high. Otherwise, we'll start to burn the sugar. We want it to gradually heat up. We can see the center starting to stick and get, becoming translucent there. So no stirring, only shaking until we start to see the browning of the sugar. And I've got here some lovely powdered pistachio, which is raw. We're going to put it straight into the caramel and that will pretty much instantly toast it. And whilst keeping it on the heat, we're going to add this lovely white chocolate soy blanche. I absolutely love this. It's really, really creamy and milky and not overly too sweet. And already we're getting those lovely toasted pistachio notes coming through. Delicious. Straight in with the white chocolate. And we're going to go straight onto our silpat here. And we're just going to flatten that out. So we're just going to take our cooled caramel and we've got some lovely chocolate here which we're just going to pour straight onto our caramel and run it all the way right down to the edges and we've got some acetate here just going to flip that over so we get chocolates on both sides And you can put as much or as little chocolate as you like. I like a nice thin layer. Just to sandwich that caramel together. And before it sets, we're going to throw on some flaked almonds. We've got lovely nibbed pistachios and some caramelized walnuts. So here we have our scrumptious caramel crunch chocolate bark and of course you can use any variety of nuts, you can even use marshmallows and even spices if you like too. So I'm just going to put this in the fridge to set for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we're going to bring it out, break it into pieces and enjoy. So whilst we're waiting for that one to set, here is one that I had prepared earlier and you can see those lovely nuts looking absolutely delicious and of course I think the best way to serve it is to break it up into pieces and stack them up. That way you can see that lovely caramel brittle that we made inside. Get all that lovely colour 